In this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to measure growth rate from reed intensity oscillations using KSA 400's new and improved damp sign fit. In the case of layer by layer, also known as Franck van der Merwe growth, the intensity of the reed spots oscillates with a period equal to the time required to deposit a single monolayer. Note that this does not apply to step flow or island growth. These oscillations can be fitted by a damped sign function to determine the growth rate in monolayers per second. This is done using a least squares method, which requires initial estimates of the values of the fitting function's parameters. These estimates can be supplied by the user or automatically calculated from the extrema, which can in turn be found from the zeros in the first derivative, which is calculated using a digital smoothing filter. The new and improved method automatically calculates initial estimates of the parameters, leading to more robust fitting results with minimal user intervention required. It works well even with strongly varying backgrounds. I will begin by opening an IMM file, which is a movie in KSA 400's internal format. In this case, I will be selecting a movie from the Read image library. I will zoom in to 100% so I can concentrate on the first order diffraction spots. Select scan mode from the acquire menu or use the icon in the toolbar. Select the desired source. In this case I will select all available data from the source, but I could also choose a specific time duration. Adjust the region of interest to correspond to the first order spot. Add a new region and adjust it to correspond to the other first order spot. From the view menu, select real-time region analysis. Right-click, select Properties, then select the Region Analysis tab and choose the value to plot. Ensure that the movie is rewound to the beginning and then press Start. Select OK to begin the acquisition. When the acquisition is complete, the results will appear in a new window. I can close the scan mode acquisition and examine the results. Right click, select properties, and then select the data tab to choose the value to plot. Average intensity is typically used. Note that peak or centroid intensity can also be chosen, but these data are often saturated and thus not well suited for damp sign fitting. I can also choose which region or regions of interest to plot. In this case, I will choose region 1. I can specify the extents of the data to be fitted. In this case, I will select set x min to exclude the data at the start. From the Analysis menu, select Growth Rate Damp Sign Fit. This uses a least squares method to find the best fit to the displayed data. The graph shows the original data in black and the fit in blue. Right click and select Properties. Then select the Thickness tab to specify the monolayer thickness in either angstroms or nanometers. This is required to compute the growth rate and thickness. In this case, I will enter a value of 2.86 angstroms corresponding to gallium arsenide. Note that if the monolayer thickness is set to 1, the growth rate and thickness will be expressed in monolayers, 
which some users may find more useful. Now select the Growth Rate Damp Sign Fitting tab to open the fitting dialog. The fitting function is an exponentially damped sine wave plus an exponentially damped background with six free parameters. The fitting routine requires initial estimates of these parameters, which are automatically calculated from the extrema. As is the case with any fitting routine with this many free parameters, the results can be quite sensitive to the initial estimates supplied. If they are not close enough, the fit may not converge. Note that it is more sensitive to some parameters than others, with the frequency being the most sensitive. In order to obtain these estimates, a digital filter is used to smooth the data and calculate the first derivative. The algorithm then finds the extrema from the zeros in the first derivative. I will estimate the values of the six fit parameters, calculate the resulting least squares fit, then select apply to see the fitted curve plotted along with the original data. The graph also displays the growth rate and total thickness, which is calculated as the product of the growth rate and elapsed time. Note that the goodness of fit is displayed. This corresponds to the reduced chi-squared statistic and should be less than one for a good fit. The smaller the value, the better the fit. The standard error is also displayed which is the RMS value of the discrepancy between the fit and the original data. Again, the smaller the value, the better the fit. In some cases, the smoothing parameters may need to be adjusted to get accurate values for the extrema. The user can specify the width of the smoothing window and the order of the smoothing polynomial. To filter out erroneous zeros caused by noise, it is required that there be a minimum number of consecutive points with the same slope preceding a given extremum in order for it to be considered valid. This parameter can also be adjusted. One can see the effect of changing these values on the parameter estimates by selecting Estimate. Note that the estimates of the parameters can be edited directly in the dialog boxes. The resulting fit can be recalculated and applied to see the new fitted curve. One can also directly copy the estimates to the fit params dialog boxes to see the resulting curve. This allows the user to directly see the effect of changing the fit parameters. The reset button can be used to reset the parameter estimates as well as the smoothing parameters. As you can see, KSA 400's new and improved damp sign fit can be a very powerful addition to your in-situ metrology toolbox. Thank you for your interest. Please visit our website for more information.